This is module four, lesson four homework on the back. Number four, each square unit below is one square inch. Claire says the side length of the rectangle below is three inches. Tyler says the side length is five inches. Who is correct? Explain your answer. Well, Claire is thinking it is three. When I look at this shape, I can see one, two, three squares. That side length is three inches. Tyler thinks the side length is five inches. When I look at this rectangle, I see one, two, three, four, five, which is five inches. Who is correct? Well, I can see both of their answers in the problem, so I would say both are correct. You need to write who is correct, and you also need to use words to explain how you know. When you are done, you can move on to number five. Label the unknown side lengths of the rectangle below, and then find the area. Explain how you use the lengths provided to find the unknown length and area. I can see that the top measurement is four inches. In a rectangle, opposite sides are equal. So if the top is four inches, the bottom is also four inches. When I look to the side, it is two inches. Since opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, I can say the other side is also two inches. Both of those are true because opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. Next, I need to find the area. To find the area, I'm going to use only two measurements, like we did on the front, to find in the middle the square inches. I can also demonstrate this with lines. There's four inches going across, two inches going down. I can count those squares to find the area. When I find the area, I will write it below as square inches. Make sure when you're done with that part that you also explain how you use the lengths provided to find the missing two lengths.